Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to Carthage and we are back with this campaign and before I begin I'd just quickly like to say that um, I don't know when this episode is going to be uploaded I'm currently having a lot of bad weather where I live and it's affecting my upload and download speeds dramatically so I'm not quite sure when this will be up but it'll be up eventually and that's the main thing and also the other thing I should say is that I'll probably be doing an hour's worth of recording for this but I'll probably split it up into two or three episodes but anyway that's that and let's get back to the campaign so we have Tingis recently taken Tingis I should say and we're looking to expand we're against the Gaetuli at the moment at war with the Gaetuli they have Migdol a fleet over here as well the Spice Masters. <laughs> and by the way, this um, I'm recording this now with Patch 9. The last three episodes were uh, Patch Patch 8 and Patch 8.1, so it's been updated. Uh, we're recruiting a few units here. Not looking good money-wise at the moment. We'll have a bit more afterwards. We, do we still, oh, we do still have Corrales over here. I still have Trade actually as well, which is quite funny. That's okay, give me a bit of money. I'm going to lose Corrales eventually. That is the plan though. <laughs> I'm actually at war blockading these. I'm just terrorising them at the moment. Having a bit of fun with them. Let's just double check diplomacy. Who likes us, who doesn't like us. Alright, Epirus like us. Nova Carthago can't trade with them. That's because they only have like one or two units over here. But they don't actually have a province anymore. I can trade with Cyrenaica. And I can trade with Liguria. So, let's have a look. They don't want trade. Damn, 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 damn. And who was it? Liguria? Liguria, there they are. Liguria. Nope. It's a shame. Okay, that doesn't matter. I think we can probably end turn. Let's just double check where we go. We have. We are replenishing at Ketuba's finest. The Gadira giants are also recruiting. We have a fleet as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll end turn. Actually, no. Double check. I could disband these because the upkeep is quite phenomenal. Disband. Oh, look at that. Bit more money. Do I have any more mercenaries which I can disband? Just double check. No, that's okay. Right, we'll end turn. I'm doing that simply because there's no point having uh, mercenary troops in my army because it would just cause uh, an awful lot of upkeep which I don't need at the moment. They're good to bring in for like one battle and then immediately disband in. But yeah, that's kind of uh, it's kind of what I want to do in this campaign is recruit mercenaries for one or two battles and then disband them straight away. And of course Carthage does have a a uh, oh, what's it called? I can't even remember the name. <laughs> it's a special ability kind of thing basically where ooh, right, we'll we we'll run away. <laughs> Will they attack me this time? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, that was a bit. Damn. We'll end. We'll. Uh, water resolve. Um, I can't remember the word I'm looking for. It's like a special ability where you get, like, I think it's minus 10 or minus 15% upkeep for all mercenary units. So they at least they do get that kind of bonus. Faction ability, that's what it's called. Faction ability. <laughs> Took me about a minute to get there, but we got there in the end. So Libya has Carthage. That happened a couple of parts ago. Marseille, Ely, what are they doing? Attacking me with one unit? Looks like it. We'll wipe them out next turn. Oh, these these turn times do take a while. I think it's worse with like Roman Carthage because you've got all the factions of the Mediterranean. Whereas if you're like the Iceni, you're kind of isolated to one kind of region. I think that does make a big difference. Okay, the mission failed. Oh, look at that. Fleet destroyed, outraged populace. Corsica et Sardinia. We don't care about them. Ooh, where are they blockading me by? <laughs> Two ships, come on. <laughs> Do the easy thing by here and just wipe them out. More to resolve in this as well because there's just no point. Let's sink the bastards. Down they go. Yeah, going back to the uh release them. 
the whole internet thing with me at the moment. We've got really bad weather. I live in an area of Wales where we don't have fibre optic broadband, so it can be a bit tricky sometimes. And of course, uh, military intelligence. Of course, um, we don't have fibre optic broadband. They are actually trying to roll out fibre optic broadband to 96% of Wales. So, hopefully, in the near future, we will actually get, you know, get there. But for the time being, at least, um, we go wait until we can actually, actually have fibre optic broadband. Kartuba has five mob. I don't like that. Five mob. We could go with this. I'll give you more food. I have to start moving this army soon. I think. They might take out the age for bringing them out. Oh, population goes right down. If oh, it doesn't. It's, it's plus four. So that's okay. Um, I see. I want to recruit more. Can I actually? Yes, I can. Carthalon. Uh, Elephant, please. Stick you in there. Oh, we got bugger all in the way of good units. Just got a couple of units there. This army now, not much of an army. We can actually, mm, we can't actually bring in mercenaries. We're going to march to Carter Dash, I think, with this army. We can't actually move though. Why can't we move? Have kind some kind of? Did an agent attack me or something? Raiding? More? Do I need them? Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Wrong button. God. Yeah, for some reason we can go back in there, but it doesn't look like we can... Oh, we can move out. Uh, we'll go around this way, because we'll stay on our home, our home kind of turf. I attack them there. Ooh, let's see. We do have a decent army here, which is more or less full, fully replenished. My fleet could probably go down the coast. Ooh, I got something I can... Is good. Let's see. Melee for all scored. Morale. Authority, morale. Uh, anything for naval. Authority for. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. And we can have cunning, authority, zeal. I go with zeal. Actually, this fleet is wasted now, so we can actually attack their fleet here. Migdol has 10 plus 2. Uh, be a bit tricky. I'm going to need the second army to go down there in that case. Can I actually. Re raise another force. I can, right. We need to get some generals going again, so we'll raise another force here. Valhamun, be praised. Uh, start recruiting some units. Oh, I can't re recruit anything. Why can't I recruit anything? Oh, it's because everything's been obliterated. Hmm, interesting, right. I have to start spending some money to get this province back to the way it should be, so we got a port. Outskirts. How much did it cost to repair some of this stuff then? 695 outskirts. What's outskirts do? Wealth. What's the one which gives me the happiness? Eastern. Oh, it's 1434. It's going to be a while. Oh, I can't do anything with that. Port. It's only the outskirts I can do at the moment then. I would do that. Do the outskirts. This will take a few turns just to get down there and attack the fleet. What else have we got? Got an army being built here. So I got four armies. Melkart's Justice. Melkart's Justice. Baitika's Legion. We have the Gadira Giants. We have Kartuba's Finest. And we have the Judge's Will. <laughs> Some of the names of these uh, armies are quite terrible, to be honest. Then we'll attack them this turn with this army. We're going to build up now over the next few turns and hopefully we can start taking out the gate too Lee. So we'll end turn and we'll see what happens now in the next end turn phase. I hope you're all enjoying this series. I also hope you're enjoying my Skyrim series. It's a fairly new series on my channel where I basically mess around on Skyrim. <laughs> kind of a complete newbie when it comes to to Skyrim so yeah I hope you enjoy it. Certainly fun making it don't know when the next episode that's going to be though because of the weather but hopefully uh, the weather will improve and get my upload and download speed back to the way it should be and 
then I can start uploading more videos again. Because the past week has been a complete, complete mayhem on my channel. Anyway, back to the campaign. Syracuse. Oh, they're gonna attack me. I've lost Corralis. I'll never defend Corralis. Oh, look at the mob. No, no way. No way at all. We will go in an aggressive stance. And I've lost all my holdings in the Mediterranean. Close defeat. Only a close defeat. I thought I'd be annihilated. Not too bad, I suppose. Syracuse is quite strong in this. <laughs> my new stronghold is Kartuba. Okay, two leaves landed. Right, where's this invasion force then? Show me. Where are they? I don't see any gate tool around here at all. Idiots. Around here somewhere. Uh, oh, gate tool is there. What the hell is going on here? We're suffering attrition for some reason. Are we diseased? Oh, we can't sustain them. Ah, oh, the food, of course. Uh, bugga, 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 bugga. How am I going to do this? Disband, maybe? Doesn't quite help. There's this army. Okay, this army on the move. Are they going to ambush me here, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Got to go for Carter Dash with them. We've still got another unit being recruited here. Don't mind keeping them here, sitting tight in Kartuba. For the time being, at least. Temple gives more food. Plus two public order. Two units of mob. Plus eight unit replenishment. Could be worth doing that. In Gadira we can... Shrine of Melkart. Oh, I don't want all these mob units though. Oh, what was that? Oh, where to go? Stupid. Puppet Gorda, Security, Shrine of Asate. Yeah, we'll go with that. In Gadira. Should help us out a little bit. Where's my fleet gone? Over here. Seven units in this fleet. Uh just going to attack. They are suffering attrition, that must be the water they're in. I'm going to attack Migdol anyway. With these. <laughs> Don't stand a chance of course, I understand that. I'm just going to blockade them for now. Can't bring any mercenaries, don't have enough funds. That's fine for now. I'm going to have to start bringing this, uh, this army out soon I think. Bring them out like that, they're not happy if you bring this guy in. They're still not happy. Uh, how am I going to do this? You know what, it's worth the risk. We're going to go straight for Migdol with this army. Even though we're going to suffer some attrition, it's going to be worth it if we can take them out with the cr crap units that I have. <laughs> can we recruit anything here? Doubt it. Nope. Tingis does have. Two units of mob plus Libyan Hoplites. Two ships. Gadira has eight units. Three of them are mob units. Plus we have a general and a unit of Hoplite. I'm also in this two units here plus eight six there. Should be okay, I think. So we'll end turn again. Not much more I can do this turn. But yeah, Carthage is quite a difficult campaign. Plenty of. Um, Plenty of difficulty if you're looking for a challenge. And in this campaign, I couldn't even stay in the Mediterranean, so I had to relocate my my dynasty, my empire. But hopefully, it will be for the best. And the gate truly really didn't attack me this turn. Got to try and take. Oh, they got arse as well. Carter Dash, it bossed him an arse. They're quite formidable. The problem is I'm stretched too thinly at the moment, so I need to find out the best kind of way to to do this. The Volkai. Ah, there we go. Oh, God. Stupid African tribe. Look at this bullshit. Six units plus 15. As soon as I move that army away, they do this to me. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Right, we're still going to go for Migdol. We're not going to... Just do that. It's a pity you can't do the old 
trick of uh, bringing the general forward and attacking. I used to love doing that in Shogun too. Pity you can't do it this time. 